In this video, I'm going to teach you four fundamental ways to increase the value of your financial transactions, also known as how to make more money. Now, this was an idea that I actually got from Douglas Kruger. Now, you might not know who he is because I didn't know who he was either until one of his videos was recommended to me. I watched it and I realized he had some gems to share with us. So the main topic of the video that I'm going to be referring to is on the eight epiphanies of growing your wealth and escaping poverty. He talks about how most people are just a cog in the system and they are working very hard but getting paid in crumbs. Now, most people don't want to be a cog in the system, but what are they doing? They're doing the exact same thing that other poor people are telling them to do. They're playing it safe. That means being a good student, getting a degree, finding a safe job, and then retiring in the same company after 40 years. And that was good. This method worked in the industrial age, but we are well into the information age. Is there an alternative to that though? Of course there is. We all know that there is. Now before Kruger starts explaining his eight epiphanies, he talks about an alternative way of thinking, something called the wheelbarrow way. Here's his short little explanation of it, and if you want to see the entire 45 minute video, which is amazing by the way, you can check it out in the description below. You are young and strong. You must go out into the world and earn coins. Here's how you do it. Pick up your wheelbarrow, load it full of bricks, and for every hour that you push your wheelbarrow, you will get one coin. If you want a second coin, you have to push your wheelbarrow for a second hour. Now we think like that. We go, the only way to earn coins is to work for a set number of hours. So let me go and get a job and be dependent on a boss. Now, you work your set number of hours every day. You push your wheelbarrow for your set number of hours and a horrible thing starts to happen. You start to realize that you can't quite afford the car. You're not quite breaking even with the kids and their education and the debit orders and the bonds and so on. So what do you do? You go back to the thinking that was handed down to you and you say, if I'm not getting enough coins, what do I have to do? I have to push a second wheelbarrow in the evenings to get more coins. That kind of thinking keeps families in generational cycles of poverty. If you take nothing else away from today, this is the one principle that is the most important. Do not tie your earning to the number of hours you work. You've got to separate those two. And I'll show you how today. Now, to my understanding, there are four ways to get wealthy. If we stick to this wheelbarrow example, number one is pretty obvious. You push the wheelbarrow for more hours. Obviously this works, but there's a problem with it. You only have 24 hours in a day, so there's a limit. And if you're doing something physically difficult, there is a risk of injury, which can prevent you from working in the following days, weeks, or even months. Now, what about option two? You can put something else in your wheelbarrow, like Douglas said. You can find gold, or something even better, like printer ink or anti-venom, something else instead of bricks. Immediately, you make more money per hour of the work that you do. In this analogy, this would be like improving your skills, learning how to do a high-value skill like copywriting, or becoming a world-class painter, or learning how to set up a sales funnel for a business. You immediately offer more value, just like switching what you carry in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to talk a little bit more about learning new skills later. But option number three is to hire someone else to push a second wheelbarrow, and then you take a little bit of their profits if they make any. Now this would be like owning a business. You tell someone where and how to move their wheelbarrow, they earn some money, and then you take just a little bit off the top for essentially taking risk. You promise them money, even if you don't make any. For example, a graphic design artist may not make too much money on their own, but if I hire them so that they can help me sell more products, I would be happy to give them twice their current rate. They get to push their wheelbarrow, and I get to collect the potential profits from it. Now, let's move on to the fourth way. This is using something faster than a wheelbarrow. Using our analogy, this would be like getting a horse and buggy, or moving on to a car or a train to move our bricks. This is called using technology. For example, 500 years ago, if you wanted to sell something to people, even if it was the cure to a disease, you would actually have to go out and talk to them, negotiate a price, and then close the deal. Now, this process could take an hour, all the way up to three whole days of your time just to get one sale. Let's zoom up a little bit closer. 50 years ago, you had to write an advertisement that may have taken you a few hours to write, but you reached way more people in your local newspaper. And now, in today's world, you can literally create one sales page that does all of your work for you. You can create it once, and then you can serve it to literally millions of people, instead of you having to go out and talk to every single one of them. So let's recap real quick the four ways to make more money. Number one, 
Push your wheelbarrow for longer hours. Most people have to do this in the beginning just to get started. Number two, put something else in your wheelbarrow. This would be like learning a new skill. Number three, you can hire someone else to push a second wheelbarrow. This would be like starting a business. And number four, use something other than a wheelbarrow. Leverage the technology that we have access to. By using technology and other people, we aren't limited to our hours. In fact, whenever you start using technology, and you leverage other people effectively, you can literally make money while you sleep. And this is the most important principle from this video. I'll say it once again in simpler words. Do not tie your earnings to the number of hours that you are working. But before you can start leveraging technology and other people to work for you, which usually requires an upfront capital investment, you need to start earning money on your own. And the best way to do that is to improve what is in your wheelbarrow. Like I said earlier with gold or anti-venom. And one of the best ways to improve what is in your wheelbarrow is to learn a skill that's valuable in today's world. And to help you with this, today's sponsor Skillshare offers online classes on all kinds of high income skills, from copywriting to sales funnels to digital marketing. There's over 17,000 classes at the moment and the price point is, well, in my opinion, one of these classes, even just one on copywriting, is worth way more than the monthly fee that they charge. A premium membership costs less than $10 per month if you pay annually, and if you're interested, you can sign up with the link below and get two months absolutely free to try them out. Now you guys know I'm picky with my sponsorships and I'm always transparent. I've personally have been using Skillshare for over a year now to have immediate access to experts on certain topics and it's my first go-to platform to learn something new. For me, I recently completed the copywriting basics for successful sales class and if you want to dip your feet into copywriting without spinning an arm and a leg, because trust me, copywriting courses will milk you for everything that you have. I highly recommend this Skillshare class first. Remember, you can get it free for two months with the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video, and most of all, I hope you learned something.